The series begins with a girl named Hisu spending time with the boy she loves, Kang Wook. So Kang Wook often tells Hisu he loves her in sweet moments, and Hisu happily accepts his love before they share a passionate kiss. But their happiness is short lived as Kang Wook suddenly feels chest pain, vomits blood, and dies. Hisu is shocked and panicked to see her beloved die, only to wake up and realize it was just a dream. The next day, Hisu meets Kang Wook at school. He kindly fixes her hair, even though he gets her mane wrong. Hisu also has a best friend named Siho, who she's been close to since high school. Hisu shares everything with Siho, including her feelings for Kang Wook. However, Siho doesn't seem to like it when Hisu talks about Kang Wook, their handsome senior with a beautiful voice. Aside from Siho, Hisu is also friends with Seijin, a younger girl who works part-time with Siho at a cafe. During lunch at the campus cafeteria, Seijin suggested that Hisu should tell Kang Wook about her feelings. But Hisu hesitated because she wasn't confident, thinking Kang Wook might not like her. However, Seijin shared a story that in the past, while having drinking party, Kang Wook had shown concern for Hisu by preventing her from accidentally hitting a beer glass. This act indicated his interest in Hisu. So Seijin encouraged Hisu to express her feelings, especially since there was another drinking party that evening providing an opportunity for Hisu to do so. That night, during the drinking party, Kang Wook and others asked a new student named Ju Yan to share the lyrics she wrote. They were impressed by Ju Yan's beautiful lyrics. However, when Hisu presented her own lyrics, she became the subject of laughter due to their silliness. Feeling embarrassed, Hisu started drinking heavily, ignoring Siho's advice to stop as she became too drunk. At that time, Hisu feels hopeless, thinking she'll never win Kang Wook's love. But then, Unexpectedly, Kang Wook appears beside her and says he likes her lyrics because they're really funny. Before leaving, Kang Wook gently pats Hisu's head, but he still says her name wrong. This small attention from him boosts Hisu's confidence, so she decides to tell him how she feels. However, when she's face to face with Kang Wook, she loses her nerve and instead asks him about his favorite part of her lyrics. Surprisingly, Kang Wook admits he was too drunk to remember the lyrics. So Hisu tries to show him her lyric book but accidentally drops it. Just then, Ju Yan appears, picks up the book, and comments that Hisu's lyrics are quite silly. There, Ju Yan criticized Hisu's lyrics as plain, saying Hisu herself was boring and lacked anything special in her life. Later, Ju Yan asked Hisu to keep her relationship with Kang Wook secret from their friends, then went off with Kang Wook for the night. Feeling sad and heartbroken seeing her crush with another girl, Hisu opened up to Siho, resting her head on Siho's shoulder. Then, Hisu told Siho that Ju Yan was prettier and wrote beautiful lyrics, so it made sense for Kang Wook to like her. But Siho disagreed, saying Hisu was prettier and he liked her lyrics. Unfortunately, Hisu was too drunk and fell asleep before Siho could fully express his admiration, leaving Siho a bit disappointed. Later, Hisu woke up at her father's house, as she had asked Siho to take her there earlier. Checking her phone, Hisu saw a message from Siho saying her father was out of town leaving Hisu alone at home. With the house to herself, Hisu decided to visit the library, where she once found her father crying over old photos of her late mother. These memories were very painful for Hisu because not only did she lose her mother forever, but her father also distanced himself from her after her mother's death. Hisu took the old photo album and couldn't help but cry when she saw old photos of her parents looking so happy while awaiting her birth. As Hisu was about to leave, a book with a green cover suddenly fell from the top shelf. She picked it up and found her name written on the first page. At that moment, the bookshelf in front of her shook, causing books to fly and hit Hisu. But then, Hisu woke up in her room and realized everything that happened at her father's house was just a dream. Remembering Ju Yan's words from the night before, Hisu resolved to write better lyrics than Ju Yan to impress Kang Wook and the others. However, she found her lyric book was full, so she searched for another book to replace it. Unexpectedly, Hisu discovers the green book she saw in her dream, and soon after, her room's atmosphere changes suddenly. She also hears mysterious voices urging her to take a pen and start writing in the green book. Feeling entranced by these voices, Hisu begins writing in the book. A few days later, Siho and Seijin visit Hisu while she's working at the No Track concert, where Kang Wook's senior band performs. Before the concert starts, he announces they'll be performing a new song called My Confession. When Kang Wook sings the song, Hisu is shocked because the lyrics are very similar to what she wrote in the Green Book. 
After the performance, he approaches Hisu and confesses his feelings to her, kissing her forehead. At that time, Siho seems shocked by Kang Wook's unexpected confession, while Sei Jin excitedly captures the moment on her phone. On the other hand, Ju Beyond annoyed and decides to leave. The next day, Hisu checks her lyric book and realizes that the song Kang Wook sang yesterday is exactly the same as the lyrics she wrote. She feels strange because she never showed the lyrics to anyone and wonders how Kang Wook knows them. At first, Hisu thought it was all a dream, but then she receives a phone call from Kang Wook asking her out on a date. Realizing that everything from last night was real, Hisu feels extremely happy. It's the first time her crush has expressed his feelings for her and asked her out. On the other hand, Siva doesn't seem thrilled about Hisu dating Kang Wook. However, he doesn't want to ruin Hisu's happiness and advises her to be cautious so she doesn't get hurt. That evening during their date, Hisu asks Kang Wook about his relationship with Ju Yan. Kang Wook reassures Hisu that Ju Yan is just a junior and he has no romantic feelings for her. He confesses that he feels deeply in love with Hisu for the first time and tries to kiss her. However, Hisu, remembering her dream where Kang Wook died, becomes uncertain and worried that it might come true. To reassure her, Kang Wook kisses, Hisu to show that their date is real. Afterward, Hisu can fully accept Kang Wook as her boyfriend. Since they started dating, Hisu has been happy, and they spend a lot of time together as a loving couple. Kang Wook is quite romantic, which makes Hisu even happier when she's with him. One day, Hisu asks Kang Wook why he likes her, but Kang Wook can't give a detailed explanation. Instead, he tells Hisu that she seems to be someone who is growing more affectionate. Kang Wook mentions that his ideal partner is someone who grows with compassion because such women won't feel inferior or blame themselves. This makes Hisu feel strange because she doesn't see herself as someone who has grown full of affection as Kang Wook believes. The next day, while Hisu is trying to get back her cell phone from the club room, she accidentally overhears her seniors discussing her relationship with Kang Wook. They speculate that Kang Wook might be under some kind of spell because he suddenly expressed his feelings for Hisu despite supposedly being in love with Ju Yan. Oddly, when questioned about why he likes Hisu, Kang Wook claims he doesn't know and can't remember. The seniors seem to disapprove of their relationship because they don't think Hisu deserves to be with a handsome and popular Kang Wook. They also seem to support Ju Yan more as Kang Wook's girlfriend. Even though she felt sad hearing her seniors' words, Hisu couldn't deny that strange things had happened since she found the Green Book. She asked Siho about that night and Siho confirmed that he had taken her home, but not to her father's house because he knew their relationship wasn't good. Hisu then asked for Siho's opinion about her, but Seijin arrived and hugged Hisu tightly because she missed her. After saying goodbye to her friends, Hisu left. Seijin then asked Siho for help with her project, and although reluctant, Siho agreed. Meanwhile, Hisu decided to get rid of the green book and focus on her relationship with Kangwook not caring about others' opinions. She also decided to find a job and bought an expensive gift for Kang Wook. The next day, Sei Jin told Hisu that she saw Kang Wook at a crossroads with his guitar, but Hisu insisted he was out of town. However, when Hisu tried to surprise Kang Wook by visiting his apartment, she found another woman's belongings there and caught Kang Wook cheating on her. The scene then shifts to the past, showing Siho as a transfer student in Hisu's class. At that time, Siho, who had been bullied in the past, suffered from trauma that led to panic attacks. Initially, Hisu didn't pay much attention to Siho, but she was the only one who helped him when their classmates made him uncomfortable. When Siho accidentally bumped into another student in the school corridor, it triggered memories of his past bullying, causing a panic attack, and he fled from those trying to help him. Siho sought refuge in the warehouse to calm himself down. Soon after, Hisu found him there and comforted him by offering an orange. From then on, Hisu and Siho became close friends and spent a lot of time together. With Hisu's friendship, Siho slowly recovered from his trauma and regained his confidence, allowing him to enjoy high school life. Some girls speculated that Hisu and Siho were dating due to their closeness, but Hisu clarified that Siho was not her boyfriend. One day, Hisu runs away from home and seeks solace with Siho. She confides in him, feeling neglected by everyone, and in response, Siho lends her his scarf to keep warm. In the present, Siho feels a bit concerned about Hisu, but decides not to interfere in her romantic relationship with Kang Wook, because she seems happy with him. Meanwhile, Kang Wook becomes furious and forcefully removes Hisu from his apartment, accusing her of stalking him. 
At that time, they engage in a heated argument, leaving Hisu shocked as she didn't expect Kang Wook to yell and insult her like that. Kang Wook even claims that dating her brings bad luck, which deeply hurts Hisu as it reminds her of her family's similar treatment. The following day, Seo visits Hisu to comfort her and suggests that she seek revenge on Kang Wook for dumping her. However, despite being hurt by the betrayal, Hisu decides not to seek revenge and believes that romance isn't for her. Hearing this, Seo suggests that Hisu should start writing lyrics again, as she hadn't written any while dating Kang Wook. But there, Hisu is hesitant at first because she doesn't think she's good at writing lyrics, but Seo encourages her to practice actively. When Seo mentions the lyric notebook, Hisu suddenly remembers the green book she had thrown away before. Strangely, she finds the green book on her bookshelf, even though she was certain she had thrown it in the trash. Realizing the magical power of the green book, Hisu decides to conduct experiments to understand its rules. Through several trials, she discovers that the book can make things written in it come true, including bringing to life the dream type of man written in its pages. Moreover, the green notebook has limitations that it can only fulfill wishes related to romantic relationships and cannot grant other desires like wealth or dream jobs. Besides that, any romance arranged by the notebook lasts only for a month, and it only brings about realistic relationships. For example, it won't create a romance between an idol and a fan. Hisu often conducts experiments with the notebook's magic, nearly using up all its pages. Meanwhile, Hisu hears a mysterious voice warning her that she'll lose the ability to love and miss the chance to be loved forever. On the other hand, Siho, concerned about Hisu's silence over the past few months, tries to reach out to her. He's delighted when he finally receives a call from her. Unexpectedly, Hisu decides to confide in Siho about the green notebook's magic by writing lyrics about her desire to date Chun Young. At that time, Siho tries to stop Hisu, asking if she can date another man without genuine feelings. However, Hisu insists that it's the only way for her to recover from her heartbreak after breaking up with Kang Wook. Shortly after writing down her desires in the notebook, Jun Young unexpectedly approaches her and asks her out on a date. Hisu then shares with Siho the lyrics she wrote about Jun Young who fell for her at first sight when they met by chance in the library. Later that evening, Siho, still worried, questions Hisu about what will happen once all the pages in the lyric notebook are used up. But Hisu doesn't want to think about it yet, as she still wants to receive love confessions from many men and date them, even if the relationships only last a month. Despite Siho's observation that she doesn't seem happy, Hisu assures him she's fine and asks for his understanding. After Hisu leaves, Seijin approaches Siho and invites him to go drinking together. Initially expecting him to refuse, Seijin is surprised when Siho agrees to join her. In the days following Hisu's relationship with Jun Young, Siho decided to keep his distance from her, which only ended up annoying Hisu. However, despite his decision to stay away, deep down, Siho was still concerned about Hisu. Eventually, he gave in and agreed to accompany Hisu on a walk as she wished. Seeing Hisu happy with Jun Young, Siho felt a sense of relief. Meanwhile, Seijin approaches Siho and presents him with a gift. From her actions, it seems that Seijin may have romantic feelings for Siho, although Siho is unaware of this. As they walk together, Siho pleads with Hisu to promise not to use the lyric notebook again because he doesn't want her to end up hurt by someone who doesn't truly love her. Seeing his concern, Hisu agrees not to use the notebook to find love anymore. Later that evening, in a cozy and romantic setting, Hisu allows Jun Young to kiss her. However, when Jun Young tries to get more intimate, Hisu pulls away, making Jun Young apologize for being too forward. During drinks afterward, Seijin confesses to Hisu that she has feelings for Siho and plans to tell him. She then asks Hisu about her own feelings for Siho, but Hisu insists that she only sees Siho as her best friend, nothing more. Seijin feels relieved upon hearing this as she had worried that Hisu might have romantic feelings for Siho. Although Hisu maintains that Siho is just a friend, she looks slightly surprised when Seijin mentions her intention to confess to Siho soon. The following day, while stopping at a rest area on their way back home, Siho accidentally encounters a group of tough students who are harassing a fellow schoolmate. One of them bumps into Siho and starts hurling insults at him, triggering memories of Siho's past bullying trauma. Siho has a panic attack, causing him to fall and struggle to breathe. Meanwhile, Hisu and the others, waiting in the car, become concerned when Siho doesn't return from the restroom. 
Suspecting that Siho might be experiencing a panic attack due to meeting the bad students, Isu hurries to search for him. At the same time, Siho, hiding in a warehouse, is startled by someone's presence and initially believes it's Isu. Unexpectedly, the person turns out to be Seijin, who takes the opportunity to confess her feelings to Siho. Despite being aware of her feelings, Siho doesn't want to lead her on, so he promptly rejects her confession. However, Seijin persists and pleads with Siho to give her a chance for one month to make him fall in love with her. After expressing her feelings, Seijin attempted to kiss Siho, unaware that Hisu was watching them. Seeing this, Hisu quickly left as she felt strangely annoyed by Seijin kissing Siho. Meanwhile, Siho avoided Seijin's kiss because he couldn't betray his true feelings. Deep down, Siho has secretly loved Hisu since high school, but never had the courage to confess. Despite this, he continues to love Hisu and chooses to stay by her side as her best friend. In the following days, Hisu tries to deepen her relationship with Jun Young, but she starts feeling uncomfortable. Seijin notices this and advises Hisu to be honest with Jun Young if she's not comfortable with their physical closeness. However, Hisu changes the subject by asking Seijin her confession to Siho. There, Seijin confirms that she has confessed to Siho, and they agree to give dating a try for a month. Despite Seijin considering her relationship with Siho romantic, Siho clarifies to Burr that he doesn't have romantic feelings for her. He agrees to go along with Seijin's wishes out of pity. Shortly after, Hisu asks Siho to meet her at a diner, where she shows him a threatening message from one of her ex-boyfriends. Concerned, Siho advises Hisu to stop relying on the lyric notebook for romance and suggests she focus on her studies instead. Hisu changes the subject by asking about Siho and Seijin's relationship, but Siho redirects by inquiring about Hisu's relationship with Jun Young. Hisu explains that she should have ended things with Jun Young because the influence of the lyric notebook only lasts a month. However, Jun Young doesn't want to break up, leading Hisu to believe he genuinely loves her. Therefore, Hisu suggested to Siho to give a chance to his relationship with Seijin. However, this suggestion only irritated Siho because the woman he loved, Hisu, seemed to be encouraging him to date someone else. Siho, feeling frustrated, tried to express his feelings to Hisu, but the situation became more complicated, leading Siho to feel desperate and ultimately decide to leave. Upon returning home, Hisu looks upset about the argument with Siho. However, Jim Young, who had just arrived, attempted to comfort her by suggesting they do something fun. Initially hesitant, Hisu eventually relented after Jun Young professed his love for her, and they spent the night intimately. The next day, Hisu realized she was late for her period and grew worried about the possibility of being pregnant. To ease her concerns, she visited the doctor for a pregnancy test, which thankfully turned out negative. Hisu expressed her gratitude to Seijin for accompanying her to the hospital and then asked about Siho. Upon returning home, Hisu accidentally stumbled upon a message on Jun Young's phone left on the table, where he confessed to a friend that his love for Hisu was fake. Enraged by this betrayal, Hisu slapped Jun Young and promptly kicked him out of her house. In the following days, Hisu became the subject of campus gossip due to an anonymous article detailing her string of short-lived relationships. Meanwhile, Seo discovered that Jun Young was behind the defamatory article, seeking revenge for being dumped by Hisu. Shortly after, Seo confronted Jun Young, threatening legal action if he didn't remove the article. The scene then shifts to the past, revealing Hisu's decision to quit school and her witnessing Siho being bullied. Motivated by compassion, Hisu intervened to help Siho. Initially, Hisu's intentions towards Siho were purely out of pity and a desire to be kind. However, as their friendship blossomed, Hisu realized the depth of Siho's kindness, considering him her most cherished companion for always standing by her side. Despite frequently denying any romantic feelings for Siho, Hisu secretly harbored them, fearing to confess and risk losing the one person who truly cared for her. Hisu fears that if she goes into a romantic relationship with Siho, they will eventually break up, leaving her without the only person who truly cares for her. As a result, she resolves to maintain Siho's friendship forever. Now, Hisu struggles to contain her sadness and tears as she apologizes to Siho. Siho suggests taking legal action against Jun Young for defamation, but Hisu declines, acknowledging her own responsibility in the situation. Consequently, Hisu informs Siho of her decision to dispose of the lyric notebook, which Siho supports. 
Shortly afterward, Seo meets with Seijin to terminate their agreement, affirming that he harbors no romantic feelings for her. Upon hearing that, Seijin is taken aback and saddened by Seho's declaration, but agrees to end their relationship. Meanwhile, Hisu calls Seho to arrange for burning the lyric notebook next week. However, Seijin overhears Seho mentioning burning the notebook tomorrow, leaving her curious about the conversation between Seho and Hisu. The following day, Hisu, feeling that Jun Young had crossed a line by spreading harmful rumors about her, decided to report him. Coincidentally, Hisu bumped into Ji Yoon, who disclosed to her that Hisu wasn't the only victim of Jun Young's mistreatment. Turns out, Ji Yoon and her friends were genuinely concerned about Hisu and had resolved to support her through this problem. This revelation surprised Hisu, who hadn't realized that Ji Yoon and the others cared about her. She began to question whether she had misjudged people's feelings towards her all along, thinking they avoided and despised her when they actually cared. Meanwhile, Seijin confronted Jun Young, questioning his motives for liking Hisu. Seijin pointed out that when Jun Young confessed his feelings for Hisu, he had been eyeing another girl, who he deemed more beautiful than Hisu. Seijin was confused by Jun Young's sudden change of heart making Jun Young reveal the truth. At night, Seijin comes over to Hisu's place and asks her to have a drink together. In that moment, Seijin purposefully makes Hisu drink a lot so she might talk about her relationships with many guys. When Hisu gets really drunk and passes out, Seijin starts searching the room and finds a notebook with lyrics. While reading the notebook, Seijin discovers Hisu's secret for getting many boyfriends in the future. But when Seijin tries to erase Hisu's name from the book, she suddenly hurts her hand. Soon after, the scribbles on the book vanish, and at the same time, Seijin's hand heals on its own. Seeing this, Seijin believes that the lyric notebook is magical and can fulfill Hisu's love wishes. The next day, Hisu plans to burn the lyric notebook, but she can't find it anywhere, even after searching her room thoroughly. Since she couldn't find the notebook, Hisu thinks it must have disappeared on its own, even though that seems impossible. Realizing the notebook was lost, Seo suggested to Hisu that she should focus more on her studies and get back to writing song lyrics as it was her hobby. Seo also encouraged Hisu to start singing again, mentioning her melodious voice and good vocal skills, which Hisu hadn't recognized. Thinking Hisu might have hidden the notebook on purpose because she didn't want to throw it away, Seo began searching the room's drawers but ended up tripping and falling on top of Hisu. Feeling uncomfortable with Seo so close, Hisu instinctively tapped Siho's shoulder, signaling him to get up. Later at the cafe, Siho noticed Seijin wasn't well, looking pale and tired. Siho suggested Seijin rest and offered to get her some water, but Seijin brushed his hand away, saying she didn't want to be treated like a younger sister. Meanwhile, Hisu starts feeling romantic towards Siho as her heart races every time she sees him. She even tries to avoid him because she feels embarrassed and nervous around him. Encouraged by Siho's advice, Hisu decides to start writing song lyrics again after stumbling upon a pamphlet about a song lyrics competition on campus. This time, she writes honestly about her feelings, imagining Siho and recalling their happy moments together. Being truthful about her feelings, Hisu finds it easy to write a song about unrequited love and finishes the lyrics quickly. She then emails the lyrics to the competition and eagerly waits for a response. To her surprise, Hisu receives an email the next day informing her that her song lyrics were chosen as the best. Excitedly, Hisu prepares to meet with the music club to discuss further. The next day, Hisu visited the music club room where she met Doben, the vocalist, who praised her for writing such beautiful song lyrics. Doben asked for permission to sing a song using Hisu's lyrics, and Hisu agreed without hesitation. Hearing Doben sing with passion, Hisu was pleasantly surprised and praised his melodious voice. Dobin then invited Hisu to join their club to help write song lyrics for their upcoming concert in a month and a half. Hearing that, Hisu agreed, on the condition that Dobin teach her to sing. There, Dobin happily agreed, and Hisu became a member of the music club, finally finding a place where her work was appreciated. In the following days, Hisu dedicated more time to writing song lyrics for Dobin's band and learning to sing alongside him. One evening, after practice, Seo picked up Hisu, and they enjoyed watching a lively fireworks festival together. Suddenly, Siho realized he had left his phone in the classroom, so he excused himself from Hisu to retrieve it. However, upon returning to meet Hisu, he accidentally overheard Dobin confessing his love for her. It turned out Dobin had feelings for Hisu even before she sent him the lyrics, 
keeping his love hidden all along. At that moment, Hisu was shocked by Do Ben's sudden confession, especially since she hadn't used the Green Lyric book to make him fall for her. Meanwhile, Siho, hearing the confession, felt annoyed and pulled Hisu away from Do Ben. He scolded Hisu, accusing her of lying about the missing Green Lyric book and assuming she was still using it to win over Do Ben. However, Hisu firmly denied this accusation expressing disappointment in Siho for thinking she couldn't be loved without the book's magic. Feeling let down by her best friend, Hisu left Siho and went drinking to let out her frustrations. Unfortunately, on her way home, she sprained her ankle, leaving her sitting and crying, feeling unlucky. Shortly after, Dobin arrives and offers to take Hisu home. Still somewhat intoxicated, Hisu vents her frustration at Do, then for causing the argument with Siho. Upon realizing this, Doven apologizes and insists on taking Hisu home since she's having trouble walking. Eventually, Hisu agrees to let Doven ride her home on a bicycle. In that moment, Hisu reflects on the situation, still finding it hard to believe that a man would confess his love without the influence of the magical Green Lyric book. She also feels like one of her dreams is coming true, as she's always imagined cycling at night with a man who likes her. The next day, Hisu confronts Seijin, suspecting her of stealing the Green Lyric book. She demands its return, accusing Seijin of writing something in it that made Dobin fall for her. It seems Isu had previously shared with Seijin her dream of a romantic moment, namely cycling with a man who likes her. However, Seijin feigns ignorance about the book, feeling jealous and annoyed because Siho loves Isu without needing the magic of the Green Lyric book. Seijin vents her frustration at Hisu for seemingly ignoring Siho's feelings, although Hisu genuinely doesn't realize Siho's affection for her. And this leads to a heated argument between Hisu and Seijin, resulting in Seijin kicking Hisu out of her apartment. The next day, Dovan appears tired and uninspired during band practice because Hisu turned down his love confession. His bandmates grow irritated with Dovan's lack of focus during rehearsals, especially since they have an upcoming concert. On the flip side, Seijin, waiting for Siho outside the cafe, appeared confused when Siho inquired about her health due to her pale complexion. Lost in thought, Seijin accidentally dropped the stolen Green Lyric book, revealing to Siho that Hisu hadn't written anything about Do Ben and instead, the book had been in Seijin's possession all along. But there, Siho scolds Seijin for assuming she had written about Do Ben, explaining the potential harm it could cause. Surprisingly, Seijin confesses that she hadn't written about Do Ben at all and rather, she had replaced Hisu's name with her own in the book. Instead of experiencing the love miracles Hisu did, Seijin was plagued by constant terror and fear. Meanwhile, Hisu meets Doben in the music club room, where she discusses the magic of the Green Lyric book and her assumption that Doben's feelings was from it. To her surprise, Doben admits he fell for Hisu months ago at a concert they both attended, proving his feelings were not influenced by the book's magic. There, Doben confessed that he had always carried feelings for Hisu, even when she seemed involved with someone else, until fate finally brought them together when she was single. He expressed his genuine love for Hisu, unaffected by the Green Lyric book. This revelation prompted Hisu to recall a past argument with her father, which led her to run away from home. In the past, Hisu received news from Siho that her father had an accident while searching for her. Hisu hurried to the hospital to see her father, where she overheard him telling that life would have been better if she had never been born. Since then, Hisu had believed that being around her brought bad luck to others, causing her to feel like a harbinger of misfortune. At that time, Hisu believes she doesn't deserve love because she has never felt wanted by anyone, including her family since birth. Consequently, she tells Doben to stop loving her, fearing he'll get hurt. However, he insists that Hisu has always been surrounded by caring people like Siho and himself, even if she hadn't realized it. He believes Hisu deserves love and happiness. That evening, Siho decides to accompany Seijin, who is still frightened from her hallucinations, despite them being unreal. Despite initially feeling irritated with Hisu for using the Green Lyric book to find love, Seijin admits to having also tried to use it to win Siho's affection. She then asks Siho to leave her alone, realizing that Siho will never love her, no matter how much time passes. Meanwhile, in her apartment, Hisu looks through photos of herself with Siho and Seijin, saved in her phone's gallery. Reflecting on their past moments together, Hisu is determined to mend their friendship and return to how things were before. The next day, Siho meets Hisu to return the Green Lyric book and shares what happened to Seijin after she took the book. 
Upon hearing this, Hisu decides to write something on the last page of the book to help Seijin. However, Seo don't like the idea, fearing it might harm Hisu and hinder her ability to love others. But there, Hisu insists it's the only way to help Seijin and convinces Seho. Reluctantly, Seho agrees, asking Hisu, whose name she'll write on the last page. Hearing that, Hisu refuses to answer, assuring Seho that everything will turn out fine. With the lyric book in hand, she ponders what to write and whose name to inscribe on the final page. Soon after, Hisu decides to visit her father's house, where everything began. Upon arrival, she goes to the library and returns the lyric book to its original spot. Hisu then prays for all the writings in the book to vanish, but nothing changes. Shortly after, Hisu hears her father calling her, so she was outside to meet him. Instead of being happy that Hisu has returned home after a long absence, her father bombards her with questions, putting her in a difficult position. Feeling irritated by her father's interrogation and unable to explain herself, Hisu is interrupted by a noise from the library. Her father rushes to check, and to their surprise, the library is in disarray with books scattered on the floor. Upon witnessing this, Hisu finally confessed to her father about what she had done, explaining the magic of the green lyric book. However, her father dismissed it as hallucination and tried to calm her down. He then took the green lyric book and revealed that it was a journal written by Hisu's mother from the time she was pregnant with Hisu until she passed away. As Hisu opened the book, she was surprised to see her mother's writings dating back to her pregnancy. Alongside detailing her pregnancy experiences, her mother included several photos, including ultrasounds and toddler pictures of Hisu. Reading her mother's words in the book, Hisu finally understood that her parents were eagerly awaiting her birth and loved her deeply. Her mother's advice in the journal urged Hisu to take better care of herself and love herself more. Hisu then asked her father if he blamed her for her mother's death, believing she might have been responsible. Hisu also confessed to her father about the hurtful words she overheard at the hospital, believing that if she hadn't been born, her mother might still be alive and her parents would have been happier. Hearing this, her father was shocked and then clarified everything to Hisu. It turns out that Hisu had only heard part of her father's words. In reality, he said that if she hadn't been born, he might not have made it to the present day. He expressed that Hisu was the reason he continued to live and asked her grandmother to love Hisu dearly as she was his cherished daughter. He also explained that her mother's death was due to illness, not Hisu, and that she was too young to remember everything. Her father then apologized for his past behavior towards Hisu, realizing it made her feel unloved. From then on, Hisu made amends with her father and began to love herself following her mother's last message, understanding that to be loved by others, she must first love herself. Returning home, Hisu starts writing something on the last page of the book. The following day, Seijin woke up feeling relieved as the haunting terror had vanished, and she began to feel better. Realizing that Hisu must have written something on the last page of the lyric book, Seijin immediately called Siho to inquire about Hisu's well-being. Siho, also concerned about Hisu, reassured Seijin that she would be all right before visiting Hisu, who appeared anxious about Seijin's condition. Siho informed Hisu that Seijin was okay, but then surprisingly confessed his love for her. He admitted to liking Hisu for a long time and assured her that he didn't care whose name she wrote on the last page of the lyric book, cause he would still like her regardless. Siho then revealed his plan to enlist in the military soon and asked Hisu to wait for him. Feeling relieved after expressing his feelings, he asked Hisu to consider whether they could be friends or date upon his return from military service. Before departing, Siho gave Hisu a photo taken during their past beach holiday. In the following days, Hisu started to live her life more confidently, becoming a mature woman who appreciated and loved herself more. She chose to focus on pursuing her dream of becoming a singer. After some time, Hisu finally achieved her dream of becoming a singer by hosting a small concert. With the assistance of Do Ben and his bandmates, Hisu begins preparing for her first performance, with Seijin also showing up to show support. Their familiar interactions suggest they have reconciled and decided to be friends again. Just before the concert begins, Hisu asks Seijin about Siho, who promised to attend her debut concert. Although Hisu had hoped to wait for Siho, the concert was about to start, so she proceeded without him. Prior to singing, Hisu announces that her first song is an apology to herself for not appreciating or loving herself enough all this time. She also mentions that the song is a love letter to someone. As Hisu starts singing on stage, the audience enjoys her performance. 
In the end, Seo arrives at the concert with flowers for Hisu. There, Hisu spots him in the audience and smiles happily as she continues singing. The series ends. The moral lesson from this series is always carry a green lyric book in your back pocket cause you never know when it might accidentally make someone fall in love with you. Just be careful not to mix up your love potions and end up with a potion-resistant crush.